Wait one second. Wait one second. Something about this kid's hat looks a little suspicious. Oh, it was so good. Good morning. Another day in Arusha, and today we're visiting a primary school, Ngara Matoni. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm fine. see? You see? Oh, that's nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Amba. I'm Judy. What is your name? My name is Zinda. Zinda, nice to meet you. <laughs> what is your name? Yesta. Yesta? Nice to meet you. This is Jennifer. Hi. Hello. <laughs> a musa, I learned a musa, musa. means ball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And since then, uh, the, there was a porridge program that started here, and from the porridge program it grew into a, a lunch program, and then people from other places, even faraway places, they said, we want our children to go to Garamtoni Primary School where they're going to get food. And so the population of students grew from 800 and something to 1,280. Wow. Can you show me magic tricks again? I'm gonna grab it like this. I'm gonna throw it in the air and you guys have to catch it. Okay? Okay? I'm gonna throw it in there. You guys gotta catch it. Whoever catches you can have it. Okay, you guys watching? You guys watching? Okay? Are you guys watching this? Okay? I'm gonna throw in the air. You guys ready for this? Okay? Okay? One, two, three! <laughs> what? Is that on your foot? Is that on your foot? Check, check. Oh man, where did it go? Who's got it? Who's got it? Who's got it? Wait one second. Wait one second. Something about this kid's hat looks a little suspicious. Oh, it was on there. <laughs> SpongeBob, your hat? He probably doesn't know. What's no, no, he doesn't know. Thumbs up. Because there's a hot meal available, the attendance of the school has skyrocketed. an amazing fun here. These kids, you guys want to say hi? You're having so much fun, you guys. Aren't you supposed to be in class? What's going on? The students get to learn things. Some of them go home and they take what they've learned and they can practice it at home. And there's different techniques also that are being taught. So, water, water is everything. <laughs> we keep going back to that and we will continue to go back to that. Now I can see that we've finished our task. Let me just take the time to thank you in general. At least to take a bottle of water. 
like a short interview and of course during the interview they gotta ask tough questions where you just like you start speaking from the heart and tears are falling and even Benji oh my gosh he started tearing twice I never see him cry <sighs> anyways the feels for sure the past two days so tomorrow is the women's empowerment program. I know like with Convoy of Hope, you guys hear a lot about feeding the children, but they're beyond feeding kids. They teach women how to start their own businesses. It didn't show in the vlog, but they built water wells in villages so that people don't have to commute three miles to get water. Uh, what else? Yeah, farming. They made greenhouses, chicken coops. I just cannot wait to get back to our girls and hug them. I miss them so much. But they're, they are in amazing hands with Auntie Mal and my mom. And my mom's been sending me videos as well and they're so happy. But man, man, I just hope they know that they have it good. They have it real good. And I feel like when we get back home, we're going to be like, oh, nope. You better finish every single grain of rice on your plate. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, I'm looking forward to tomorrow and we're going to be playing with makeup, I think. I'm not sure. I, I think it was hard to find makeup around this area. So um, I'm going to talk to young women in the empowerment program. And I don't know. We're, I, I have no idea what we're going to chat about because I haven't talked to any young women here. Um, at, even at the school that we've been to, I saw that there were a few teenagers, but they were so shy. They wouldn't even say hi. We'll see how that goes. I'm pretty excited about it. Anyways, I know this is like a complete change of pace to our normal vlogs, but hopefully you guys are enjoying it. And hopefully you guys can see this is just like a taste of what we see while we're here. And it's real. It is so real. I wish I could see their houses, you know, like see how they're living. We got to see a little bit of that in Iloilo when we were in the Philippines. Okay, so I'm gonna call it a night here and I am hoping and praying that this will be up on time. <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.
Okay. 